It's yeah, so and that's good. what you don't see, you know, in movies. You know, it's all about meeting. It's all about that first initial, and they almost always end if if they get married at all at that point. But mm. I think you know, what, we, what we, you guys have lived, what we're discovering with with our eighteen plus years is that uh, there really can be an improvement if you don't stop at the barriers you right. hit. Mm. There, it, you can really discover new levels that are so um, so satisfying yeah. and so rewarding. But you have to push through some hard things along the way. Yes. So, what have been that comes to mind for you guys? Because you don't, you don't, you don't be married twenty three years without having faced some some challenges. <laughs> yeah. what if, were, were there points when you guys were worried it wasn't you you weren't going to make it, and that you've persisted through? Yeah. I mean, do you want to start? Um. um. Yes, I think that uh, we have encountered a season um, that was the most challenging. Um, and, um, we kind of, uh, we're de- dealing with like a, a significant crossroad of, 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 of really the, the, um, poor decision and poor prioritization, um, uh, that I, uh, was going through at a season in life where I will say that. You know, we were talking a little bit just a second ago about marriage and what it looks like. And I think I have a lot of empathy for um, uh, those who haven't been equipped to figure out how to solve problems in life. You know, um, there's generations of people who are just learning now how to handle emotional health and, you know, talk things through and um, go through different things. And and I think there's just a different level of equipping happening. Um, And so we did hit a situation about three years ago where we were dealing with one of the hardest things we ever had to. And um, one of the things that I didn't realize about what success was, was, you know, if you could be successful externally, but you come home and your marriage is a mess and your kids don't like you. <laughs> you haven't succeeded. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the lie. Mm. You know? You know, we have a friend who has a ministry called Famous at Home. Right? Hmm. And so, we had a chance, or I, I had a one one chance to do the whole Second Chronicles seven fourteen move. You know that scripture, um, where like if my people who are called by my my name turn and repent from mm. their wicked ways and like change, and like I had one chance, you know, and we worked really hard, and so I think you know Mary um, had the equipping um, to handle uh, that move, and it's been probably the most fruitful but most painful season um that we're we're in a completely different land now um and like Mm. have authority to talk through things and and understand difficulties and complexities in relationships like like we've never known before Mm. yeah Mm. wow i just think of how the bible talks about pruning and um God's so faithful to do that in our lives. Like we'll bear fruit, we'll grow, but then he'll prune back and it almost feels um, counterintuitive because it's like, why would you cut back something that's bearing fruit? But his whole goal for us in, in John fifteen five, he wants us to bear more fruit and he, then he wants us to bear more fruit and to see in real time for you guys, the cutting back or the pruning or the difficulty, but now walking in the more and the more abundant fruit that, that God has for you is just so beautiful yeah. to see. 